Welcome back, everyone, to the last match of the 0K February 2B2 2019 tournament. We have the bronze tiebreaker. It's going to be Anarchid and Hokomoko against Topkak and North Chilean G on Columbia Basin. So this is like tiebreaker for third place. First place is Dime Friend and Sparkle. Second place is Manu 12 and 400. So yeah, we just have the bronze place tiebreaker. And again, fair warning, if this lasts more than 15 minutes, I will have to cut it short. So... Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully players don't troll me or anything, but it probably won't. I mean, this is actually kind of a small map, and it's a C map. I don't expect this to actually be too big of a problem, in all honesty. I think what'll likely happen is that we'll just get this quick gunship rush or something, and then it'll just decide the game. I don't expect it's going to take that long. Like, if I did, I wouldn't be here right now, because I wouldn't, I'd figure, ah, it's going to take too long. Let's just go. But yeah, this probably will be kind of quick. It is... Uh, so I'm guessing probably it's like Amp Hover or Hover Ship or something. Like Hover in the Land, Ship in the Ground, or Gunship Ship. I don't know. Clearly neither, the, neither do the players. They're very intent on figuring out what the heck they're going to build. And really... Come on, just, get, just do the thing. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't have to do two wins. Okay, good. Thank goodness. That was just... I guess Anarch is just saying that for the sake of pointing out that, hey, this is this is going to be a match between people who already played. Oh, the song is a remix of something from Castlevania 3. The songs in this playlist are basically OC remix remakes of mostly Castlevania and Chrono Trigger music with a couple other games mixed in there. It was like I just looked at OC remix for jazz songs and found a bunch I liked. Because OC remix someone actually did a song request earlier. OC remix songs there's a light that you can use them with credit for streams and videos. There are other people like someone requested a song by the consoles. I can't necessarily put that in because I don't know what their policies are and I can't find anything that says that the policies are like that amenable to streams. Also, new hunter model, which still has the old hunter icon. That's odd. Anyway, new hunter model. So you have ships, ships, amp versus ship something. Ship Amp versus Ship North Chilean G's Commander. Anyway, that is... Well, early Hunter coming in here, and... Oh yeah, Hunter actually got kind of modified, didn't it? In a way that causes it to kill itself! Okay, so Hunters are pretty evenly matched, unsurprisingly. What is North Chilean G doing? I guess they just figure, well, we have a factory. He's going to pour everything into the factory, use the Commander to build it as much as possible, instead of having multiple factories and working from there. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense, actually. The only downside, of course, being that the, the Corsair can't hit underwater, so it's kind of screwed? Maybe? Hard to say. There's no anti-underwater stuff being built so far. And the duck. Oh, the duck is in range. The Corsair cannot evade the duck. It's just going to be torn apart by duck torpedoes. Oh, man. Topkak forgot to make urchin. These ducks could actually make sure work of everything. The commander is basically dead. The commander's totally... There's, there's nothing being built up. Topkak is not building up any urchins. They're not building up any submarines. They're not building up any hunters. I mean, they had the one, but it died to the other hunter. I think the GBC might be able to take this. We have North Chilean G coming into the quick hovercraft platform, trying to get use that, I guess, to get claymores to help out here, but Topkak's commander is dead. The only saving grace is that these ducks are very easily distracted. Going for the title generators instead of going for Topkak's commander, but the hunter, it is built up, but it is way too late. Topkak losing their commander. A lot of damage dealt. The ducks finally going down here. Although, three ducks able to take out a hunter. Taking a lot of damage in the process, but still able to take out a hunter. Corsair is up to try to help defend, but more ducks have moved into Topkak's base. And they're locking down the factory. There's nothing that can be done to help deal with this. I mean, until the Claymore gets in. And I don't know if the Claymore's going to get in. The Corsair doing what it can to stop the Claymore from even existing. I think that's going to be game inside of two minutes. Or three minutes. And the Shipyard Factory 
being locked down and heavily damaged. The shipyard, if that shipyard goes down, it is over. And it looks like the shipyard's going to go down. It looks like it's over. Mumble Clan already voting to resign. Topcac looks like they figure... Yeah, Topcac does not want to stay. North Chilean G still has some confidence, though. And, I mean, to be fair, the economy... No, actually, no, it's hopeless. I mean, maybe it's not hopeless, but the economy is pretty lopsided. The Claymores might be able to break through and tear apart a bunch of these units. And that might do the trick. But Topcac's lost everything. Like, Topcac has no production left, no economy left. The economy is a 20 metal difference, it's almost a threefold difference. Like, these Claymores are it. I think North Chilean G's thinking, okay, I can maybe kill with the Claymores. Mostly my own things, unfortunately, because that's how Claymores do. Two of the Claymores go down, two other Claymores, and yeah, that is it. The Claymores do not save the day. GBC takes third place. Anarchid and Hokomoko are the third place winners, who I thought they would be in the first place. But they have just spent three and a half minutes proving that exact thing. So, with that, that is it. That is now the tournament. We have a solid third place of Anakin and Okamoko. Again, congratulations to Dimefriend and Sparkles for having won, and 400 mana 12 for taking second place. I've been Dominic or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. I've, this tournament is hosted by Acronym, so go thank them when you get the chance, because they're pretty cool people. Well, pretty cool person. There's only one of them, I think. You know, I never actually thought about that. I mean, I think most of the people I meet online are single people. You don't actually know that it isn't multiple people using the same account. And then, I mean, you kind of know I'm me because you can hear my voice and it's not like someone else is imitating my voice. Okay, sorry. Existential crisis aside, thank you, Akronim, for having host of the tournament. Thank you all for watching. And those of you who played, thank you all for playing, providing that tournament, because really without you playing, we can't really have a tournament. It's a rather necessary part of the process. So with that, it's over. Thanks again for watching. And have a good night, everyone.